Oil prices slumped to a five-year low today, with US crude briefly breaching the symbolic $50 threshold. It's the question everybody's asking, how low can oil go? Some experts believe that oil could eventually drop as low as $30 a barrel. The next support is at 32. I think we're going to see that this year, maybe within months, maybe within weeks. And the supply side is not being curtailed in 2015. It'll be a 2016 issue before you see it. They hope that the sliding price will kill the U.S. shale oil production. The non-OPEC producers will realize that it is in their interest to cooperate with others to guarantee fair prices for all. Because the problem is that America is producing more and more oil at the moment, and actually, if OPEC as a cartel simply cut the amount of oil it produces, American shale would fill the gap. But what's going to happen to U.S. shale production? Production growth flattens to zero when you get to $50 per barrel. They're trying to basically price oil so low that they put American producers out of business. Because we could lose 250,000 jobs in the energy sector this year if oil and gas stay at these levels. We're cutting 9,000 jobs, and that follows layoffs from a host of others in the industry, including Halliburton and BP and Civio. When you see oil fall that much, historically, that has been associated with a significant economic downturn. They do like a prediction of how many wells they're going to drill for this year. They've cut those in half. Falling oil prices, everybody, you know, most economists say, oh, it's good for the consumer. Well, of course it is. We save maybe $2 a day at lower oil prices, but it's going to burst one of the biggest bubbles we've had recently, the fracking bubble. We were told we we're going to be energy independent, and we got this great fracking revolution. It's just a bubble industry. Without 5% junk bond rates, the lowest we've ever seen in history, normally 8 to 10% for those type of high-risk lending. Um, and without $100 plus oil prices, fracking doesn't work. So fracking is dead. That's a million jobs. That's $980 billion in investment that's going to go bad and a half a trillion dollars in debt. Debt, debt, debt. For more videos on the oil war and how to profit from the oil price crash, visit futuremoneytrends.com slash oil.